the last nine minutes from 919 from 909 to 918 and the, the end was quick water pressure increases 44.5 pounds per square inch for every 100 feet of depth and for every 33 feet of depth the pressure increases by one atmosphere so what that means is that at 1950 feet down which was the thresher's crush depth at 1950 feet down uh what's that in Let's ask what that is in meters. Can I, I know I have like a meter side of my brain and a I like I have metric and I have imperial like sides of my brain and they don't communicate well with each other. Convert one thousand nine hundred and fifty feet to meters. Five hundred and ninety four meters. So at five hundred and ninety four meters at nineteen hundred and fifty feet, which is the crush depth, her hull was experiencing eighty six thousand. 86,775 pounds per square inch or 43.4 tons per square inch. That is a lot of pressure. Imagine every square inch of this submarine being pushed upon by 43.4 tons, 86,775 pounds per square inch. It's estimated that when the final collapse came, it took about 100 milliseconds or 0. 0.0001 seconds with an implosion force equivalent to 22.5 kilotons of TNT. And what that means is for that one brief instant, 0. 0.0001 seconds, the inward implosion was greater than the yield of the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. That ship imploded. It contracted with more force than the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. And not by a little bit. This was equivalent to 22.5 kilotons. The bomb over Hiroshima was 15 kilotons. So you're about half again as strong as the atomic bomb over Hiroshima. <laughs>